What's going on guys, it's your boy Shivon here back with another video and I think it's about that time. Smartphone season is back up and running and I'm excited because last week I got my first impressions and the opportunity to check out the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the brand new Z Flip 4 and even played around with the new Galaxy Watch 5, Galaxy Buds 2 Pro but in this very video we're gonna focus on Samsung's latest folding phones but mainly the Z Fold 4. Yes, the seam is still visible on the Z Fold 4. I'm not sure why I was expecting it to be less visible, but yeah, it's still there. I don't think it's an issue for anyone that's used to folding devices, but for people that are just getting into the space and want to learn more about folding devices, it might be surprising to see a seam running down the screen. So I just thought I would mention it because Samsung doesn't seem to highlight that enough in their marketing materials. <laughs> So in terms of pricing this year, the Z Fold is not cheap by any means. It starts at $2,269.99 Canadian for the 256 gig model and $2,429.99 Canadian for the 512 gig version. So yeah, we're in the big leagues. However, what you get for that price though is a very well-made phone that feels super premium and it literally just folds into a mini tablet for what I would say is the, one of the best viewing experiences you can have on a smartphone device. Now, one thing I must say with this year's Fold 4 is that it did feel a little bit better in the hand and it's actually eight grams lighter than the previous Fold 3. Samsung said that also the Z Fold 4 is rated at IPX8 water resistant, meaning that it could be submerged up to 1.5 meters of fresh water for about 30 minutes. And just the fact that you could dip this thing into water and have it still working is impressive to me because of just all the moving parts. So it's very good, you know, engineering and manufacturing from Samsung. Now, speaking about engineering, let's talk about the design. It's yeah it's pretty similar to the previous z fold 3 but this time around it seems a bit shorter than the z fold 3 and to me as i mentioned it just feels you know a little bit better in the hand if you hold them side by side you could feel the difference in terms of you know the quality on the z fold 4 versus the z fold 3 not not to say the z fold 3 felt cheap but you can definitely see the quality improvements when you hold them side by side and you play around with the devices folding them in and out the hinges feel a bit different it's just something I noticed. So in terms of color options, they will come in three colors as of now. It's gray green, which is my personal favorite, phantom black, and also beige. The gray's kind of, you know, black in certain lighting conditions but when it's well lit you could definitely see the green peeking out of the gray and that's kind of cool if you don't want just a completely blacked out phone when it comes on to like folding devices i always wonder how it would look in my pockets and this one fits good in the pocket it doesn't get as bulky as i would expect since you know it's literally folding it could be tend to be kind of wide so just don't wear super tight jeans and you'll be fine not to say you can't wear tight jeans but i'm just saying like if you wear super tight jeans you're obviously gonna see the bulky phone in your pants pocket it could get awkward just you know what i'm saying yeah it's just a personal preference thing i guess now the screens look good the cover screen and the main screen both look super vibrant and the color accurate sharp the main screen comes in at 7.6 inches and has a dynamic amoled display so it could refresh between one up to 120 hertz depending on what you're doing the cover screen on the other side has a 6.2 inch hd plus screen and it's still 120 hertz but it refreshes between 48 to 120 hertz depending on what you're doing and this is going to be really good for gaming when you're you know playing on this wide screen i said before i just can't wait to get them in house so i could actually test it man if you're also wondering there's still no slot for the s pen on the z fold 4 but samsung has some new cases that could accommodate for that s pen and swappable back plates to use as a kickstand as well i honestly love all of samsung cases the silicone feel with the straps and all the modularity is actually pretty dope but i would have loved to see a slot for the s pen at some point on the folding devices speaking about the s pen the writing experience with the s pen does feel a little bit better on the screen due to the improved ultra thin glass and it can with stand folding up to 200,000 times that's what Samsung said that's kind of crazy the fact that you could even just fold 
glass without it breaking as well. Now touching a little bit on the camera, Samsung has also improved the under display selfie camera and in return, image should look a little bit sharper. It has a four megapixel camera, but unfortunately Samsung did not let me export any pictures I've taken, but just by the looks of it, just taking pictures and looking at it on the device itself, it does look really sharp and color accurate. I still think the under glass camera or under the display camera is super futuristic and it's only a matter of time until smartphone manufacturers get it right where it's like fully invisible. But for now, if you look at the phone from different angles and lighting condition, you could see the outline of where that selfie camera is, but they really do a good job at hiding it within the pixels. Now the camera layout on the back takes almost the same design from the S22 Ultra which I honestly don't mind so there's still a three camera setup with a much improved 12 megapixel wide camera, 50 megapixel wide angle camera and the telephoto camera which is 10 megapixel. You can record up to 8k 24fps, 4k 60 and from my testing the lighting conditions wasn't the best but based on what I was seeing as I said before on the screen it looked really good and yeah I just can't wait to get it in house put it to a day in the life test, compare it to different phones and see if Samsung actually improved these cameras or it's all just talk. Since I also had the phone for around a couple hours, I can't speak much on the battery life, but I do know it has a 4,400 mAh dual battery and now has super fast charging at 25 watts that could get you from zero to 50% in just 30 minutes. And wireless charging is now up to 15 watts, which is a good improvement on the Z Fold 4. But yeah, that's everything I know about the Z Fold 4. Now let's talk about the Z Flip 4 and it has somewhat a redesign and it comes in a couple of different colors you could get graphite pink gold very interesting blue and bora purple the Z Flip will start at $1,259.99 Canadian dollars and can go up to $1,499 dollars and 99 cents Canadian dollars if you get the 512 gig version. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Is it like 99 dollars Canadian dollars or just 99 Canadian dollars? I think I should just say Canadian dollars instead of saying dollars Canadian dollars. Anyways, the main thing for the Z Flip 4 is the cover screen customization. So you know previously, you could look at the messages that comes in and see like previews for messages, notifications, etc. But now you could actually interact with those messages on the cover screen and respond to text without flipping the phone open, which is kind of sick. The durability has also improved this year. Now these improvements lead up to the cameras as well. This year we have a 10 megapixel selfie camera on the Z Flip 4, the dual rear cameras with 12 megapixel both for the main wide camera and also the ultra wide camera. And as I said earlier, I don't have any pictures to show you guys, so you just have to trust me on this one. In terms of the battery life on the Z Flip 4, you do get 3,700 mAh battery, 8 gigs RAM, and a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset inside. That's also found in the Z Fold 4 if I didn't mention it. It seems good for gaming and consumes battery efficiently but yeah, it was really cool of Samsung to invite me to check out those phones early. Hopefully this video was fun for you guys to watch to see the first look at what Samsung has to offer this year with their new folding devices. Anyways, I'm just happy that overall Samsung is continuing to just deliver and improve upon the folding phones every year because it's the future and the future starts now. As always guys, love, peace and tweaks. Signing out.